Here's another example in which we're given a sentence, but we also have some numbers, and it looks a little messy because we have both uh, decimals and mixed numbers. So let's read through this. The sum of 20.7 and 2 and 3 fourths and a number is equal to 42 and 2 thirds. What is the number? Okay. And looking at this, I see a number, and that tells me I need a variable. So I'm going to let x equal a number. I've assigned a variable to my unknown. The next thing I'm going to do is look for the equal sign. The sum of 20.7 and 2 and 3 fourths and a number is equal to. They made it really easy for me this time by just saying is equal to. So I know that's where my equal sign is. Looking at the left half of the equation. The sum of. That's telling me that I need to add. And what I need to add is 20.7 and 2 and 3 fourths and a number, and I said I'm going to call the number x, is equal to. Okay, so it's equal to 42 and 2 thirds. Before I do anything else with it, these, I need to put the numbers in a form that is the same and a form that's easy to work with. So I'm going to um, switch these all into decimal form. 20.7 plus 2.75 plus x equals 42.67. I'm rounding to the nearest hundreds here, so I'm going to call two-thirds 42.67. Before I go on, I'm going to add the two numerical values on the left to further simplify it before I start trying to isolate the variable. And if I add 20.7 and 2.75, I'll come up with 23.45 plus x equals 42.67. Okay, now I'm finally ready to start isolating the variable. Same as always, do the opposite operation. I have 23.45. So in order to isolate x, I need to subtract that amount, 23.45, from both sides. Okay, the 23.45s cancel out on the left, so I have x, and if I subtract 42 0.67 minus 23.45, it actually comes out to x equals 19.22, okay? Looking back, I started out with a sentence. And not only was it a sentence, but it was a sentence that had numbers in two different forms. So after I translated it into an equation, I put all the numbers in decimal form. So that was the second step. Put numbers in decimal form. Form. I simplified the equation by adding the two numerical values on the left, and then I finally isolated the variable by subtracting 23.45 from both sides. 